In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the first rib that can be fixed in what they call elevation or inspiration. The scalenus anterior and the scalenus middle fibers attached to the first rib, and the posterior fibers of the scalene attached to the second rib. So the patient has what you believe to be a thoracic outlet syndrome, which is abbreviated as a TOS, which is symptomology in the arm. It could well be that the first rib, for some reason, is higher. And then the lower brachial plexus, because the brachial plexus comes from C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. And the lower part, the C8 and T1, naturally drifts across the first rib. So if you have a rib that's elevated, or even an extra rib, rib called a cervical rib, then it might give you some of these symptoms. So let's run through a palpation of the first rib. So what I'm going to do is find the upper trapezius and use my two fingers. What I'm going to do is slowly retract the trapezius and then drop down onto what I believe is the first rib. I'm going to get my patient to take a deep breath in, please take a deep breath in. And then as I breathe out, the rib will lower, okay? So the deep breath in, deep breath in, the rib will raise, and then on the out breath, the rib will lower. So you have a natural raising of the first rib when I take a breath in, and as I breathe out, the rib will lower. So if you notice that when they breathe in, the rib rises, but on the out breath, one side maybe drops down, but the other side doesn't drop so far, when they breathe in again, and both ribs rise, and then on the out breath, one seems to drop a little lower. In this case, we will treat this side. So the right side, take a breath in. I feel the rib rises and on the out breath, I perceive the side to stay elevated. So we are gonna pro provide a MET to try to encourage lowering on that side. The way I do this one, so let's say I'm gonna treat this side. I'm gonna place my leg on the opposite side, so like this, with his arm over. You'll see why in a second. And then I'm going to cradle the cervical spine, so we're in this position. Now my MCP joint here, my metacarpal phalangeal joint in here, what we're going to do is apply this area almost like a, like a 45 degree angle towards the opposite axilla. So I'm not gonna do anything yet because I'm going to just cradle this area in here. So the first technique is doing an MET. So I'm gonna get my patient to side bend this way, please, which then tells this side to relax. So he is side bending or side shifting, 20% effort for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds, take a breath in, please. And as he breathes out, I'm going to shift him over Side bend in the neck, so slackens the scalenes as I use my MCP just to mobilize the rib. You see that? So I'm gonna mobilize the rib going down. So let's run through that again. So take a breath in. And as he breathes out, breathe out, I'm going to side shift, side bend the neck and just use my MCP just to mobilize. It can appear to look uncomfortable, okay? But most of my patients who I've done this on, they seem to be fine with this technique. You have to be careful because of where you are going yeah, with that rib, because you're not gonna be directly on the rib, there's too many tissues in the way. Okay, so it's an awareness for the position. Take a breath in again. Side bend your head this way, which then tells this side to relax through what we call reciprocal inhibition. After the 10 seconds, relax please, take a breath in. And as he breathes out, the technique is the side shift with a side bend and then a mobilizing technique. You can just mobilize, you can spring down through that, but please be careful when you're using this pressure. I can just press and hold and just wait for a few seconds just to encourage that first rib to lower. Okay, so I'll do a variation of technique. First technique is these pushing for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds, relax. The important bit is the breath in, deep breath. And on the out breath, the side shift, side bend, and then spring on the out breath. All right, and then come back, go back to where we were, retract the trapezius, drop down to that first rib, take a breath in, rib rises, breathe out, rib lowers. 
Okay, and hopefully the symptoms you might perceive in the arm hopefully will reduce. So that would be a muscle energy technique for a inspirated or an elevated first rib. Thank you for watching.